Hey guys, um, welcome to this tutorial. I'm just going to basically give you an introduction to Sony Vegas Pro 8. Um, well, let's get started. First of all, open up your Sony Vegas Pro 8. It's Vegas Pro 8 is basically the same as 5, 6 and 7 with just a couple of extra added um, transitions etc. They're not really needed but yeah. Well, I've got project open. Okie doke. Here it is. We've got our timeline. You can create audio tracks where you put all your audio in create video tracks etc just by right clicking and here we have basically project bar I would like to call it media generators you can make anything in there video effects you just drag onto your video clips transitions which is between two things let's just make two sample texts let's just make two of these show you what a transition is. So we wanted a slot machine. Oh yeah, here's our screen to preview it. Okay, the transition's in the middle. I've, dra I've just dragged it over it and it just undoes that. Let me change the writing to show you. You can do this with any um, media which can be from right um, words etc to your video footage. Okay, here we go again. There's so there's heaps of transitions. You have all your categories and then there's heaps of different ones throughout them. Okay. Media manager. This is like all of your stuff you can go search for or you can just like minimize it and go get it, drag it in, and just drop it on. This is where you get all your media from. You, you can just go drag it on. See it's got blah and Sony Text 7, which is, and you can see it's all the writing I've used. It's all there. Trimmer, it's basically that. You don't even need to use Trimmer. Explorers, where you can just go in and drag stuff in there too. Let me show you some video effects. You can see the change from those. If, if I just put in extreme, see, you can add these to any media. There's again like transitions, there's many different ones from Spotlight. You can add as many of you want as many of these as you want to one single thing. They just go over each other. Etc. Okie doke. Media generators. These come from it's a separate media altogether. You have your checkerboard, you can get all of those. Okay, basically in Sony Vegas, what you do, I'll show you some noise. You do these on everything, like, I'll just show you. Okay, basically down the bottom is your timeline bar. This is what you want it to start with, so progress, we won't have any progress. I'll just delete this checkerboard bar. <sighs> Where am I up to? Jeez. Okie doke. This is the pro like progress. Let's start it off. Okay, now at the end, maybe I'll want it. Okay, wait, I'll just... I won't go ahead. Okie doke. This is what it looks like at this moment. It's really plain. 
that's going on there, so delete these. It's doing absolutely nothing, so we want it to move. So, basically, this is your timeline bar, and you can make the progress different. So, that's if you want it going faster, like that. See, it's moving now. Okay, right. The, and you can add um, what we call media effects and video event effects. There's really no difference in between them except you can add two of them at the same time. And there's different different ones. I'll show you a. I'll just make a text. Okay, doke. Let's add. This is a shortcut for it. Event effects. The famous one is Sony Light Rays. So let's just make this go like that. This is just one of many effects. Let's have a look at how it's going. Pretty simple. There's heaps of other effects. Just delete that. Sony Glow. is mainly for um it's not really for your writing usually. Oh yeah at the top there's also pre presets you can get. I don't usually use this for writing but you can do it. Let's see? Yeah, there you go. Well that basically just describes how to use the timeline bar, etc. Heaps of other noise textures, all of that. Okay, at the side here we have our bar. We can change the level that it's being viewed at. We can take it out, muting it, and make it the only one. There's heaps of other. You just play around with them. Okay, like after you've managed to edit your little movie. To save it, you just highlight it, file, render as. You can change it to all the two different types. AA3, I'm not sure what half of these are. MPEG's your lower quality, and then you got AVI, which is high quality, but it's humongous, like this little clip that does absolutely nothing. What else I that's it. I don't even know what I called it. It's probably this. Yeah. That little two second clip is 20 megabytes. It's humongous. When you start getting on to making a full, like, even a five minute thing that can go to gig getting to start getting into the gigabytes. Well, I hope that's showed you how to use it. How do you, like, I hope you've got the general idea how to use Sony Vegas Pro. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.